Hey everyone, this last video is going to show you how to clean up your wheel and why it's really important um, to do it in a specific way to avoid clogged sinks. Um, the sink that I'm using is a bathroom sink, uh, which is connected to my studio, but plumbing is plumbing and you don't want to put clay down a sink if it's in your house or in a studio or at school. Um, so. I'm going to show you the right ways to go about cleaning everything up. I'm taking my bucket and I'm going to bring it to the bathroom. And let's see. Right now, here we go. I'm going to pour out all of my excess water down the sink. Now ideally, I'd like to keep my hand inside of this bucket to prevent any clay from coming through, but you can see all those clay pieces at the back, right? Now that's all wet clay. That's good stuff, that slip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and normally there are these slip containers right next to the sink in the ceramic studio, but instead I'm going to use something a little bit different. I'm gonna use an old pot. I'm just going to collect my slip in here. that extra slip. I'm just going to wipe that off. I'm going to put it in this pot. And I'm using this pot because I also do natural dyes in here, so that's kind of my um, art pot. I'm going to go grab some more water now. You want to fill it up with some clean water with your sponge and kind of clean off your container as you are getting water. So I'm kind of getting some of this extra clay on the sides and putting it inside my bucket. I generally like to use warm water, but you know, that's just me. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna pull off your what's this um, splash guard and this one comes off pretty easily that's just gonna go right into the bucket there this one you have to kind of spin it for some of them because underneath you'll see that there's this little silver spot here this is where it slides underneath that. Um, some of them are a little bit trickier than others. I'm going to take my needle tool and put that to the side. I'm going to wipe each of those off individually. But before I do that, I'm going to keep my wheel on. Sorry, this is just a little bit challenging because I'm trying to do two things at once. There we go. And I'm gonna turn this on. And I'm just going to go from the outside in and put a little bit of pressure down. And it'll pick up all that extra clay. Try that again. And that's pretty good. Then I'm gonna go through and just wipe down my splash guard so I don't see any more. Make sure that I turn off my wheel, clean up all of this excess stuff along my wheel. You can go so far as to cleaning along the sides, all that stuff, your actual um, cord, your actual pedal, but you really want to get underneath 
as good as you can and clean up any area that any clay can get to because the more you wait on cleaning up, the more harder it's gonna be for cleanup later and it's gonna build up and make it really hard to use. Um, that wasn't a super thorough cleaning. I would wanna make sure that I really clean off that splash guard, then stick that back into place. You kinda of have to twist it. I can show you that in person um, when we get back to the classroom, okay? Um, thanks, see you guys later.